Hello and welcome back. So the question that we have here is to find the height of binary tree and that too we have to do using breadth first search traversal. So we are given a binary tree with five nodes and we are supposed to find the height of that tree. So to get it right, the height will be three. One, two and three. And how do we do that? So we know the breadth first search. What is breadth first search? What we do is we go for the breadth instead of going for the depth. So what we do is for every level, uh, we, uh, we traverse along the breadth first from left to right. So we will traverse the root because that is the only node at that level. Then we go to the next level and we traverse the nodes from left to right that is two and three and then we go on to the next level and we traverse the nodes from left to right and which will be in this case four and five so i now have to track the height of the tree while i am doing the breadth first search and by the end of it i have to return the height of the tree so to do that what i will do is i will uh, define a counter variable and i'll call it as node count so its function is specific, uh, basically to uh, whenever we are iterating over, when we are traversing along the breadth of a level, uh, what we want to do is we want to, um, first of all, when we enter enter a new level, uh, first of that, I will initialize the node count as the number of nodes in that level, that is one. And while I am traversing through the node, uh, I'll be decreasing it as I traverse and when the node count hits zero uh, I will uh, so I will just write that condition if node count less than equal to zero which is equal to equal to zero basically what I want to do is I want to increment my height by one right because we have we have explored all the nodes in this layer we are going to the next layer and that basically means that height must be uh, increasing by one because that is what height is and when we en enter the new level what i want to do is i want to again initialize my node count variable or counter with a new value of new value which will be the count of the number of nodes in that layer which is for now two and again when uh, while traversing i will be decreasing this counter by minus one minus one as i traverse every uh, individual nodes and when the node count is equal to equal to zero i will increment the height by one because we are again moving to the next layer or i'm sorry next level next depth next height so that is why i'm incrementing the height and in this layer or in this level i have the node count as same two because I have two nodes. So this is our approach and now we are going to move to our editor and make it work. So here I am on my editor and I have the example binary tree set up already and all we are left to do is create or make the function that will perform a breadth first search and find the height of this binary tree. So let's start. What I, I will do is I'll call my function as height bfs and it will take the argument as root of the binary tree which is nothing but a node which is the root of the tree. So now I'm going to just type out the basic breadth first search lines that is bits basic breadth first search function I'm going to create that so which is I'm just creating a queue and inserting the first element as the root node other than that we have the while condition that while the queue is not empty what we want to do is we want to pop from the queue from the front of the queue that is so i'll do to queue dot pop zero and i'll store that node in the variable node and i'll check if there is a left child to that node and if there is one, I'm going to add it or append it to the queue. And after that, I'll check the same for right child and do the same for, uh, that is appended to the queue if there is one. So this is basically a simple breadth first search traversal. 
and now I'm going to add some lines in between which will ensure that we keep track of height and return it by the end of this function. So yes, this is just the breadth first search. Now I'll edit this to make or keep track of height. So first of all, I'll initialize a variable as, as ht for height and give it a zero initialization value. Other than that, I want to create the variable node count, which will keep a count of nodes on each level of the binary tree as we do the breadth first search. And that count is nothing but the length of the queue. And I want to increase the height by one every time we are outside this loop. This loop is going to be while node count is greater than zero. That is while node count is not zero. So while we are traversing along the breadth of a level, all the Q pop operations are supposed to take place inside this loop. And by the end of it, I want to always decrement the node count by one. And when we get off this, out of this loop, every time the height will be incremented and outside the while len, uh, len of q is not equal to zero the outside the final loop i want to return the height of the tree so this will be the output that we want to be displayed on the screen so let's check that out what i will do is i'll print uh, a string as height equal to and make a call to the function that we just created that is height bfs and i'll pass the root as n and this n is by the way coming from uh, from the tree that we created on top so this is the n that is the root of the binary tree that we just created so n equal to has a value of one and it is the root of this binary tree which has a height of three so i'll run this program and check the output and it says that height is equal to three as expected so with that we are done and this is the this is how you find the height of a binary using breadth first search traversal.